Today I'm going to be showing you two different styles of painted plaid on the morning mug from the Still Magnolia. There will be a discount code linked for you guys down in the description. I am taking an 80 grit sanding block and giving it a good roughing up to ensure that the paint sticks really well. I'm going to tape off the handle on one of the mugs and then base coat it orange. And on the other mug, we are going to just paint the entire mug orange, including the handle. On the cup we completely painted orange you're going to take a little bit of epoxy and spread that on evenly and smooth including the handle and then we are going to take one of my very favorite fall colors called bonfire and sprinkle that over the entire mug Once your epoxy layer has cured a couple hours on the glitter tumbler, we're going to coat both of our cups with a layer of epoxy. Once you get your epoxy laid down on the cup that's just painted, you're going to want to remove the tape on the handle. Now we are going to start marking off our tumbler to tape off for the plaid. And how I do that is I just take a bunch of painter's tape, little teeny tiny sections, and I place them all the way around my cup. And then I just do every other color, kind of like in my brain, um, like orange blue orange blue and make sure my pattern works out and if it doesn't I'll remove one piece of tape and spread them out a little bit wider if that makes any sense before we tape it off now that you have your whole cup taped off like this at the top and making sure that they are evenly distanced you are going to remove every other piece of tape You can remove that small piece of tape as it was just a marking place and then place a large piece of tape all the way down our tumbler. Now you should have numerous vertical stripes going around your cup and we're going to take those same little pieces of tape as marking tape just to evenly space out where we are going to tape off the entire cup. Once you have those evenly placed, you're going to take off every other one and then take some tape and wrap it around your cup horizontally. Thank you. 
on the epoxied glitter cup I am going to tape it off the exact same way but I did I did decide to use a smaller tape um, I didn't have three quarter inch tape I just had a half an inch and a quarter so you'll see me placing two tapes on here but I'm just doing it because I didn't want half an inch and I didn't want an inch I wanted to be happy with three quarters of an inch so that's just me placing the tapes side by side Now that you have both of your mugs all taped off, you're going to fill in those squares with a chalk or acrylic paint. On the glittered one, I went with this light kind of pale yellow, and on the orange one, I chose kind of like a robin egg blue. On the painted orange one, I'm also going to take that robin egg blue and paint the handle. I'm going to show you two different techniques on how to finish off our plaid on our mugs. The first way is a little bit harder. In my personal opinion, I got smarter and came up with a hack on my second cup. But you're just going to take the tape off of your tumbler and then on the bottom of each solid blue square, you're going to tape it off. I just did this in sections, but you're going to take a makeup sponge and dip it in that same blue paint, but you're going to dab most of it off on like a little piece of paper. I'm using a sticky note here because when we apply it, we want it to be a little bit translucent so you can see that orange behind it. Now that you have gone all the way around your tumble, tumbler horizontally, we're going to take that tape off and go by the solid blue sections again, but we are going to go vertically this time. And then take our makeup sponge, dab it off on a piece of paper, and apply it lightly to our cup. Once you have finished that step, you can remove all of the tape and paint the base blue.
Now this is where I got a little bit smarter and decided to keep the tape on, but I'm going to take an X-Acto knife vertically and horizontally and cut down each side of the tape. Now that you have that cut all the way around your tumbler, you should be able to remove these sections. And the sections you're going to want to remove are above and below each yellow section and side to side of each yellow section. Now you should have this checkerboard looking tumbler with some of your tape still on and you can take your makeup sponge, dab some of that excess off and then just go right over the top making this a lot quicker than we did previously. Once you have dabbed on the paint all the way around your tumbler, remove the tape that was left behind. I mixed up a little bit of polycrylic with some bronzer luster dust in a little cup here. And I am just painting this right over our raw paint. But if you do not feel comfortable doing so, like you'll mess up and you'll want to wipe it off, just add a layer of epoxy in between. I'm dipping a paintbrush into the luster dust polycrylic mixture and going down each section of the orange, hugging one side. I'm hugging the top here and just going all the way around the cup. And then I will do the exact same thing going vertically.
Now for the smaller plaid tumbler, I've decided to take some nail striping tape I got off Amazon and I'm just going to go right down the center of each square horizontally and vertically. Once those nail striping tapes are all applied, I'm going to make sure that they do not lift when I apply my layer of epoxy. So I'm taking some Artistry Quick Seal and I'm just going to lightly brush it over the entire cup. Once that quick seal is dry, you are ready to add a coat of epoxy. Once your epoxy has cured, you can add a decal. I chose It's Fall Y'all on the blue and orange morning mug. And on the yellow and orange morning mug, I chose this one that says Hello Pumpkin. Both SVGs will be available in my shop. Here are the super adorable morning mugs all finished. I just love how they both turned out. So cute, but so different. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust. And if you would like more tips and tricks, make sure you join my Facebook group with the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys.